I've been teaching this game for a very long time, more than I hate to admit. But what I've come to learn is if you're a teacher and you're trying to teach someone anything, it's good to know what they know. So often when I get a student on the court, I ask them what other sports do they play? What other disciplines have they mastered, if any? And let's say I get a musician, someone who plays the piano. So what I now go through my mind is I take out all the cards in my brain about how to teach tennis with music analogies. For instance, I might tell them that hitting a tennis ball is often like plucking the, the key on a piano. You want to make that stroke of the tennis racket like a whole note in tennis. Not an eighth note, but a whole note. Okay, so I'm using this teaching, uh, I call it uh, uh, the analogous teaching method find out what they know, and use some of that knowledge to help them understand uh, the game of tennis. If I've got a, a skier who does a lot of skiing, I might talk about how when a really expert skier goes down the mountain, they barely look like they're moving. There's no superfluous moves. They've got great balance. They're just barely moving their hips. So what I tell them about tennis is that you want to get the best shot with the least amount of effort, and that's the goal to have a nice, balanced, smooth swing with very little superfluous movement. And I'll use the analogy of the skier. So that's the analogous teaching method.